What is going on, everyone? Welcome to CGT week three. We're going up against Jack, aka Gravy, a very, very good friend of ours, and a rematch of the UBL finals of, I think, season six it is, uh, where he beat me, but then I beat him back the next season. So I believe we're one and one on games, and now we're playing in CGT. We didn't play each other last season, so this is going to be a little bit of a tiebreaker game for us. Um, I'm super excited to play him, though, because I think that this is going to be a real testament to my team. I think this is probably, I don't think this is a bad matchup for us, but I think this is probably the most questionable matchup we've had all season with our team um, because he has a lot of scary mons to deal with, but I'm hoping that I build the right team for it. Obviously, elephant in the room, for me at least, is that I went 2-0 last season and then I basically went 2-4, right, like for the four weeks afterwards. I went on a four-game losing streak. So this week, week three, after, especially after going 2-0, is really important to me because I don't want to repeat old habits. I want to make sure that this season is a clean slate and I'm just going to be, you know, there's no, there's no like random voodoo that is going to repeat that same thing again. So the hope is, is that this week can shatter that fear of mine that I go on a, a huge win streak after winning two, like I did last time. Hopefully this week can, can break that for me. So that's our big goal. Um, but as of right now, we're kicking ass. We're top of the league. It's only week two. So obviously I can't like, you know, be like, wow, we're top of the league because it's only week two. Um, but uh, Jack is also undefeated. So uh, winning this game would, would put us up pretty convincingly high in the standing with stand pretty convincingly high in the standings which is super nice it would put us in a position where if we win this game then in order to make playoffs we only win we only need to win two of our next six games and that's like that would be dope so uh actually maybe not two of our next maybe three of our next six but still like who knows um, not that that matters, because I'm winning every game anyway. <laughs> but yeah, thank you to everyone. Thank you to the front office. Thank you to Zazo um, for the help, both in mocks and in building. And let's see what we cooked up this week. All right, so let's get into the team builder against Jack to see what we're kind of scared of here. Uh, like I mentioned in the introduction, Torn plus Excadrill, just the top tiers are the scariest things into me. Um, and that's pretty, pretty annoying to deal with. Um, Torn in general, I'm less concerned about an offensive set, I'm more concerned about a defensive set. Um, Fat Torn is very difficult for me to break through because I don't have a lot of, um, I don't have like, you know, a, a speedy electric type, or I don't have, I mean, the best thing I have is Neelago. So, um, Neelago is actually pretty good here, but I'm, I'm not bringing it. So that's another reason why it's, why it's a very scary threat. Uh, to my team, the Torn. Um, and then we have Excadrill, uh, which is super scary. Uh, Drill's definitely coming, it, it guaranteed has to come, because otherwise he, like, instantly loses to Nilego on the spot, plus it offensively looks great into my team. Um, as much as Sandrush is scary with Tyranitar, um, I'm mostly concerned about Moldbreaker now in hindsight. Um, I just don't have a switch in for it. If he, like, calls, like, a certain, uh, Mon correctly, like, if he just, like, makes a play and like say clicks rapid spin and then KO something with earthquake on a switch in or something like that um it's gonna be very very difficult to deal uh with and it's just it, it offensively just dishes out so much damage against my team um i wanted to be air balloon ad slash for the longest time because of it but it just wasn't working um next we have thunderous Therian. thunderous Therian is like a maybe i guess i feel like there's like a 60 percent chance of it coming it's very good to break through my double water core as well as take hits from things like uh me and xiao uh, for example but it is also walled by quite a few things including the uh stun fisk as well as the pretty much the zarud which outspeeds and neolego which it can't really do much back to so it's really good against some mods it's not as good against other mods tyranitar is a 50 50 if it comes it's just for uh, Excadrill stand. If it doesn't, then I don't know why it would come. Um, so it's kind of like a seventh mon or maybe eighth mon on my team. I think Reanaclus could come um, as well for uh, Neelego as like an AV variant, um, but also I've seen Trick Room uh, Life Orb, which is also pretty scary against my team because if he just like clicks Focus Blast and lands against the Rude, I don't have the greatest responses to it. AG Slash can take one, but of course like in an end game scenario in which maybe I've taken some chip on some of my mons it could be scary to deal with uh tentacruel is like guaranteed it's forced prep i have the double water fairy core so i know tentacruel is coming this game it came in every single mock why wouldn't it come um and then 
all the four low tiers there, Galarian, Corsola, Stoutland, Executor, Lola, Togetic, I don't think any of them are coming, but if there's one that I think is coming, it's a low on Executor. Probably some kind of Roselli Berry variant that's meant to bait Finny and just deal a lot of damage um, in the early game. So in terms of likelihood, I think that Torn, Drill uh, are guaranteed. I think that Tedacruel is guaranteed. And then I think that Buzzwool is like 90% likely to come. I think after that, then it sort of drops off. I think Cinderace, oh, I totally forgot to talk about Cinderace. Cinderace um, is scary. I mean, it has coverage for the water types with Gunk Shot and, you know, can you turn? It's pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, I think Cinderace and Fundy are probably around like a 60% likelihood to come. I think Reuniclus is 50-50. The more I've done Mox, I think it's a little bit higher than 50-50. Um, and then I think everything else is, is very unlikely. So for the most part, I really just prepped for these top eight, uh, that Jack has, um, on his team. So I, the six that I'm expecting to see are Torn, uh, Excadrill, uh, Tentacruel, Thunderous Therian, uh, Buzzwool, and then, uh, either Cinderace or Reuniclus, one of the two. Um, but it could be Titar if he goes for the sand. I wouldn't be surprised. So that's kind of it. All right, what are we doing with this team? Uh, first mon is Banded AG Slash. This is a set that I went very back and forth on because I, you know, was wanted to do Air Balloon for the extra drill since I didn't have many switch-ins, but I sort of started to realize that that was a very reactive set rather than like me actively looking for an AG Slash that wins. Uh, even though we're Banded, we are Air Slash to Oko the Buzzwool, but uh, if Tyranitar doesn't come or if it gets weakened, uh, locking into Shadow Claw, there's like very little switch in, um, as well as like locking into Sneak in the end game. If things like Torn are chipped, if Drill's chipped, if Cinderace is chipped, um, it's doing about 50% to most things, um, pretty much everything on, on the top eight, except for the Tyranitar, obviously, and the Buzzwool. So it's about getting those mons chipped and cleaning with Shadow Sneak, and then Iron Head is there as like a nice middle ground. The speed is to creep a uh, Tyranitar creeping Feeny. Uh, which, you know, could happen. I don't know. I want to make sure I outspeed it. Uh, this is Finny. It is our dedicated lead this week um, with uh, Surf, Moonblast, Nature's Badness, Knockoff. Um, you see Azu there. Azu's going to be probably the biggest breaker of the game um, and potential cleaner. It has a lot of different roles here. Um, but the Finny's role is to put pressure on early. I want to knock off things. I want to start cutting things HP in half because once I start doing that, then things start to get in range of the, the banded priority from AG Slash and the priority of Aqua Jet from uh, Azumarill, which is very important. Um, so Nature's Madness, very free click here, I think, because the Mon that's obviously going to be baited in is Tentacruel. And this is why Water Fairy doubling up on this type is really good in this instance, because Tentacruel is forced to prep here, and he doesn't have a better switch into Finny than Tentacruel. So he's going to have to go Tentacruel, chew the Nature's Madness, then take a knockoff, and now it's in range of any uh, Azumarill hit, even a stab-resisted hit. Like, it, it, it baits in Tentacruel, which is, like, best-case scenario for me. Um, but, yeah, this just chunks right off lead. It's awesome. Uh, next, we have Zerud. Uh, Zerud, I kind of talk down about, uh, especially in Torn matchups, because I've used Torn a few times, and I feel like every time I use Torn, I just, like, hard wall Zerud. Um, but Zazu and I ended up coming up with a set that um, actually kind of beats Torn in a way. Um, it has the tanky berry to chew the U-turn and pressure back with something like a Dark Lariat or just like any coverage against his team with acrobatics. Obviously, I would eat the berry and then be able to touch Buzzwool. Um, and Hurricane isn't KOing me, which is great, um, even offensive, so at least from full. So, it's good to have this Sarud just to pressure in the late game. My big issue with it is I keep wanting to intuitively use it as a switch into drill when that isn't its role. So I need to make sure that I'm not losing health on this Sarud very early, otherwise it can't achieve its intended purpose of claiming kills in front of things like Torn, which will want to switch into it. Um, the speed, I don't remember what the speed is for. I think I'm creeping a creep on his end. I think I'm creeping like drill creeping something else um, along those lines. Or maybe I'm creeping uh, Thunderous's creep, since I still need to make sure I'm not speeding Thunderous. No clue what Thunderous would creep. I think it's creeping Finny. I think I'm creeping a Thunderous creeping Finny. That sounds right. Um, so we'll do that. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's the idea behind Zerud. Uh, Darkest Area Power Up Acrobatics just has perfect coverage against the team. And Zerud can actually set up on Buzzbull too. If Buzzbull obviously clicks up Fighting Move, then I can't kill it with Acrobatics because I won't have consumed the berry. But if it clicks Leech Life, um, then it will and I will be able to KO back with acrobatics, and 
I, I honestly don't even know if a fighting move comes this game because I think his best coverage for Buzzwool against my draft is Thunder Punch, Earthquake, Leech Life, and then it would be Roost in the last slot. So hopefully my prediction is right on that front because it could make Sarud very potent if I am right about that. Banded Azu yet again, once again, in uh, the third week of COG. Always awesome, but this time we are a negative speed in uh, a brave Azumarill. Um, and that is because we have Trick Room support on this Mesprit. So I may as well just explain these two together. Uh, Mesprit is a very supportive set that's meant to come in on Excadrill. Uh, click Rocks if Rocks aren't already up, and then click Trick Room and Healing, which are you turn, depending on which is better, um, into Azumarill. And like I said, since the early game plan is to chip that Tentacruel down um, through Nature's Madness with Finny, Clicking Liquidation is pretty free. The only check is a very, very defensive Buzzwool, but even then, if I get a defense drop, he just has to pick one, and if rocks are up, then I could just do a KO it outright. So it really puts a lot of pressure on him when I'm able to outspeed stuff like the Tornadus and the Cinderace and the Thunderous because of Trick Room. Um, even if this isn't going to be sweeping, the Trick Room aids Azu in breaking, and it can still sweep in the late game with Aqua Jet if I set up the right conditions. So this mon is always just amazing right now it's the kill leader in the league um which is super dope uh and then yeah physically defensive aspirin uh last mon is stun fisk this set's kind of goofy because i don't really need discharge this game i originally was earth power discharge stone edge stone edge is for the for hitting the thunderous because my dual stabs are it, it's immune to and if it runs like sub i'm in a shit spot um, so I got double rocks here with Mesprit because rocks are that important because I need to knock stuff up, knock stuff off, and then uh, get it, you know, that puts it in range of my offensive breakers, especially Torn. Um, so I want to make sure that rocks gain up for sure. Um, and then I originally had Discharge, Earth Power, and Stone Edge, but I realized I was never clicking Discharge. So I replaced Discharge for Rock Slide just because uh, rock Slide into Stone Edge after Rocks KOs, and because if he's a substitute set, like I mentioned before, I can click Rock Slide instead of Stone Edge uh, in order to be more accurate. So um, it just ends up working. I have coverage for every scenario is kind of the idea. So Rock Slide and Stone Edge on the Stump Fist. I doubt I'll click them both, but like, we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's the team. Uh, let's go to the dock. Okay, we're bringing Trick Room, boys. How we feeling? <laughs> Easy GG. Hey, the trick room king. Hey. <laughs> okay. Hello, Bruno. Hello, beautiful people. This is this what is up, all Bruno? part of the recording. This is hey, this is where we're at. <laughs> uh, all right, what's going on, everyone? We are here for Cog. Oh, baby, very exciting. Cog CGT. It's all the same. Um. As you can tell, I am in a new um, background, and that is because I moved, I guess? Um, my lease ended yesterday, um, so I moved back uh, to my mom's apartment for like two weeks, and then I'm gonna go to London. Maybe three weeks, I don't remember. Um, so this is, this is my interim living situation. Uh, but we're playing Jack. Uh, Jack is dope. He's my co-commissioner alongside Matt, but Matt doesn't do anything. Um, and he's got a scary team. Uh, Drill is really scary against me. Um, and <laughs> uh, he said hi, Addy, back, which is very nice of him. Hi. Shit. Um, Okay, so anyway, uh, I'm gonna close this on Discord. Uh, okay, close this on Discord. Um, he's got a very scary team. He has some spooky, spooky threats, namely the Torn and the Drill, which I just don't have switch-ins to. Um, and then the other big threat to the team, and I've never thought I've said this in my entire life, is Tentacruel, but that's what happens when you have Azu plus Finny is your main offensive core, baby. Um, sometimes you got to overcome shit like that. But, I mean, it helps because they like, you know, they pressure each other, whatever you want to call it. Seems like it's going pretty quick, um, but we'll see. 
Um, no clue what he's bringing. Pretty nervous. My computer's lagging a bit, so I'm hoping that there's not like any kind of disconnect or something. Um, but uh, very scared. If I don't see Buzzwool or if I don't see Tentacruel, I'll be pretty happy. Uh, but I see both. What is gone? Uh, Tyranitar is gone. That's not very fun because it means it's going to be Mold Breaker and can hit uh, Musprit. Uh, so we got Thunderous. We got Reuniclus. We got Tentacruel. We have Excadrill. We have Tornadus. And we have Bushwool, as the Finns like to say. Um, it is a very scary looking team. This is probably worst case scenario in terms of the build. I guess T-Tar over Reuniclus would have been scarier, but I really don't like dealing with Moldbreaker Drill. Um, my dedicated lead is Finny. How do I want to play this before I click Done? Uh, Azu under Trick Room cleans uh, with Liquidation if Tentacruel is low and Buzzwool is low. Um, and it cleans with Play Rough if uh, both Tentacruel and Excadrill are weakened. Rocks are absolutely important here. So that is a priority because it turns Liquidation into a potential to a KO on Buzzwool. <sighs> Okay, yep. So it's gonna be about getting Nature's Madness chip, and then um, after that, it's gonna be about uh, seeing what I can do to uh, get rocks up, and then it's gonna be about going in with the offense once I uh, have those conditions met. So just gotta talk about things like this. Torn, tone down for what? Okay, torn down. Okay, I thought that was like a weird Fundy nickname for a second, which would have been worst case scenario, but. Torn is totally fine. Um, I think we discussed our play here was to knock. I don't think anything has changed uh, from that because if I get rid of this thing's boots turn one, that's really great. Um, so I'm just gonna knock here. Uh, if he's sledge wave, I may be, if he knock spots here, I just go hard fisk. Um, taunt, okay, well, I'm not scared of that. I was, I was actually on one version of this build. I was um, Mental Herb, could you imagine? Um, but I'm gonna Madness here. Uh, just keeping this Torn low despite regen is very, very important. Taunt means that he probably is not um, Sludge Wave. He has Hurricane, this is gonna do very little. Like very little, and I can't be confused. Uh, he's Taunt plus Hurricane. I want to see if that damage says anything about the Torn set. I'm already convinced it does, um, in the sense that it's probably a bit bulkier. Uh, Hurricane did... 33. Yeah, it looks like no special attack at all. Um, I think he's gonna go into Tenta here, so I'm just gonna keep Nature's Madnessing. I'd be very surprised if he stayed in. Um... I could go into yeah, U-turns here. So it's probably Taunt, Hurricane, U-turn, and then either Knock Off or Heat Wave. Um, the only thing that I don't like about Taunt Torn here is that it stops Mesprit. Mesprit can no longer trick him on this thing, so that sucks. Um, but, you know, he's, he's forced to take like half here. Torn's probably gonna be at like 60% when it comes back in. This being weakened is massive. This being weakened is absolutely huge. Please land. Yes, okay, perfect. Now I'm gonna knock off here. Uh, T-Spikes is worst case scenario. But I can play around them, especially with this thing so healthy. Um, I'm gonna knock you off. It means that if I get rocks off, it puts you in range of any Azu hit, which is great. Um, this is also gonna give me information on uh, its speed, which be max fizz def, black sludge, he knocks off himself. He's gonna knock off my AV. That's fine. Okay. Um, we're gonna see a poison move here, most likely. Could go hard AG and start pressuring. Don't hate that because he doesn't. He didn't bring a ghost resist this game. Um, but I am risking him knocking me the other turn. But I would be shocked if he knocked. Um, I could also go into Mesprit and try and get rocks up. I kind of like that option because I don't think I'm going to get rocks up versus much else. 
And honestly, if I can get a trick room up this early, Azu can start clicking buttons because he's given me this so early and because Torn is checked. I can lock in a player off pretty easily and force a 2 a KO on Excadrill. Basically just force a KO in general. Obviously it risks a 10% miss, but it's not the end of the world if that happens. I also know that this is probably max defense, so that's 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 important. Um, what are we seeing here? He doubles, okay. Into my Drilla. That's best case scenario. Um, I could Trick Room off the bat. Could get up rocks. I kind of want to get up rocks. Um, which I will do. He could Earthquake. If he Mold Breaker Earthquakes, what's my play? I don't really know. I can still rocks on a few other things, so I'm gonna I'm gonna trick room off the bat here. He rocks himself. That is not an issue. Um, although since Rhianaclus is around, I guess I am giving that the option of being scary. So maybe that was a huge misplay. Um Yeah, I guess I didn't think about the Rhianaclus there. It's kind of oof. Uh, he's rocks on this though, which is interesting. Oh, I think I just misplayed by clicking Trick Room this early. I can't mess up though. I am gonna click rocks because they are important this game. I just think I did it in the wrong order. So he's stealth rock on this. And your earthquakes. That damage is not life orb, which is great. Um, with that damage, can I go into Azu for free here? Because what I can do at some point in the game is I can come back into this trick room and then healing wish and heal it back up, which is great. He doesn't have any priority really. Um, uh, I'm kind of low on time, but. I can speed up after I just run these calls and get information. That did... My computer being so laggy, which is really frustrating. Um, 96, so it's it's not even adamant, it's probably just regular. Um, and it's not gonna even do, I think it's gonna do like 50% to Ozzy, which is fine. So we'll U-turn here, get a little chip on this, we'll break a sash if that's what it is. We'll probably see Earthquake again, which is fine. I'll go hard Azu. Only Punish is a crit. It's possible a crit doesn't even kill me. See Earthquake again. That's fine. Because he doesn't have, like, okay, this thing's leftovers. Interesting. Okay, so Earthquake. And he's up to first. Uh, I'm gonna liquidation here. It should either force out Buzzwool. Why is he protect? Rocks, Earthquake, Protect. It, I hope someone didn't bring his answer in the box, because that would definitely be annoying. Um, okay, I still have one more turn at Trick Room, which is what's important. So I can, I can still get a huge hit off on something, and that's always fun. Um, if that huge hit ends up being off on Buzzwool, uh, I'm okay with that, because it gives me information and it forces it to roost, which I like. And I can go hard Finny, since Finny's so healthy. Okay. Sushi. Oh, sushi. This thing. Okay, he sucks. That's great. Uh, I would be shocked if he was Stealth Rock, Earthquake, Protect, Rapid Spin. So this makes me think rocks are up to stay, unless he's something bizarre like Deep Fog Thunderous. Um, Ten Ripples there. I'm stoked that Rhinoclus didn't get in off the back of my misplay there um, of going for Trick Room, but honestly, maybe it worked. I don't know. Um, it's just going to be about getting it back in at some point because Mesper does have chip on it. And I think the only thing I can technically do it on is Drill. I think that's the only thing I can I can do it on. Uh, this comes in. Why is this in? I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to go into Cleopatra. Uh, I threatened with a Moonblast. I could knock too, to be to be totally honest with you. Knock wouldn't be the worst play in the world because is this boots? Is this boots buzzable? 
This is Boots Oswald. It, unless he spawned and I missed it. I guess I'll have to check, but... Uh, poison Jab probably comes out here, but I should live it. Uh... Thunder Punch. Okay, even better. Because I should live. 90 to 14. That's fine. So I either Moonblast or I knock here. Um, I think I'll Moonblast, and if Runiclus comes out, then I knock. But he's definitely switching, right? So maybe knock's fine? Or honestly, maybe Surf is better. Because Surf covers Drill. It'll do the same amount to Thundee. And if Runiclus comes out, I can just make the same play. I could also just Madness. I'm just gonna Madness, that's fine. If Torn comes out, it's gonna be hella low. I don't think he can really do that. Yeah, so like Moonblast would've been better here, but it's not the end of the world. Um, I can preserve this for a sack, because it can't really do anything to me, and if he U-turns, then I punish. Um, this looks like the funniest Stunfisk set of all time, because I have Rock Slide and Stone Edge, which is uber cringe, but I have it because of sub, uh, Thundee. Both break subs, but if he, like, makes a pattern of continuously subbing against me, then I have, uh, Rock Slide to not miss. Even though Stone Edge is a better click most of the time. Uh, what I like about this too is I live a drill hit, especially given the, the set that he is. So I can just earth power a drill at some point and then player off becomes a win con. I actually do kind of want to see like what is going on there. Thunder Punch makes me think he's not a, uh, he misses. Okay, great. Um, I'm gonna Earth Power here to cover the aggressive Reuniclus, or I could, but he's gonna U-turn. No, he, he probably shouldn't U-turn here. I'd be shocked if he U-turned here. So I could, he's either gonna go Thundee or Reuniclus. And AG Slash covers both. And if he goes Drill for some reason on like a really aggressive play, But I could just go hard AG on Reuniclus if Reuniclus comes in. So I think I'll, I'll Earth Power here to cover an aggressive Drill swap in. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, that's fine. He risks Static here. Which isn't happening. Um, I'm glad I didn't go AG. I will just click Rock Slide. If he was hard drill now, I'd be shocked. Yeah, cool. This covers that play. He isn't Boots. You love to see it. And I think Edge kills from here, to be honest. Um, which is awesome. Uh, so I think I'm going to go for it. Could go into Drill, he could go into Reuniclus, but Edge just KOs, so I don't care. I'm at a point now where if Buzzle gets weakened, Aqua Jet could be a win con. But my big issue is 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 the Drill. He's super powerful. How fat? Is, how strong is that? Life Orb? What am I looking at? I don't know what the hell I'm looking at. But I have both. He's gonna go. Wow, she has both. Crazy. <laughs> Wild. Uh, Zerud looks great at this point, so I'm glad I've preserved it up to this this point in the game. Uh, 
It's leftovers, right? The shadow sneak looks great too. I liquidation a few times, I can lock in a shadow sneak with the uh, AG slash. Yeah, I think that's what I do, right? I think it's time to do some more breaking. <sighs> the boots buzzwell is gonna suck. Is he just gonna earthquake here? I think he's just gonna earthquake here. Like, I have no reason not to make this sack, I'm pretty sure. Because I'm dead to rocks. Okay, goodbye. Um... Like, yep. So that was the right play. Um... Jetting, he would just protect and go buzzwool. That would suck. So I think my play is... Either you? I could just go into you and start bulking up because your boots, right? So like, we're fine. We're totally fine. We're totally fine with Zerud breaking here. You have to be afraid of close combat. You have to. Buzzwool is your switch in here. I refuse to hear that it isn't. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought, bitch. Young Mustard? More like young... Potentially dead. Um... Uh, I think I acro into... Another acro. Because even if the Sarood doesn't beat the Buzzwool 1v1, which it's designed to do, so hopefully it does, but if it doesn't, say he crits me, or say, I don't know, like, he's close combat or something, like, I'm still in a good spot. Yeah, he close combats here. I should be EV to live this. I am. Um. And now, do I make the aggressive Lariat play? on the Torn. I don't think he lives. I, I think he's so low that he should not live Acrobatics. I think Acrobatics should just score a kill at this point. Right? Yeah? Hopefully? It should. Yeah. I think I'm at a point where I just attack what's in front of me. I'm not saying I'm letting Zerud die because I do think that if he sacks something and brings Torn in, I'm just gonna go Fisk. Um. Oh my god, perfect. Okay, great. Trick Room isn't really a thing, though, because of Rhianoclus. But Drill looks awesome, though. Drill looks pretty sick, I will say. So. Okay. Torn comes out. He's gonna take rocks. I feel like I have no reason to sack this, right? No reason. I can go... Go Mesprit. He's gonna U-turn punish the U-turn play so bad, but I really, I really do feel like I need this thing alive for, um... Oh, it's hard to say, actually. I sack Stunfisk here. He U-turns, he goes into Drill, I sack Stunfisk, and then I go into Azu. I don't really like that play. I kind of want to go into Knuckles. Because if he Hurricanes, I don't think he does a lot. And if he Taunts, I could just U-turn and get a free switch into something else. So I think I'm going to do that. That might have been a huge throw. But I feel like it's possible that... Uh, because Trick Room in here would be a bad idea because of the Rhianoclus. Yeah, we see U-turn. Honestly, do you die to the helmet? 
Yes, baby! Oh, baby! Look at that. That's awesome. Okay. in. Do I live? Do I not live? It's a mystery. I don't know, but I think I do turn here. Or do I healing wish? I think I healing wish. If he doesn't kill me, healing wish gives me more. Unless this is like gonna be the lowest roll of all time. No. <laughs> um, okay. So this thing. Uber low. Let's calc something really important here, boys. And that is whether or not um, AG takes a hit. Of course now I'm I'm kicking myself for not um, for not running. Oh, it definitely does not live a hit. Okay, especially not after rocks. So is the play to go into Zabumafu? It is not going into Zabumafu. I think the play is just a jet, to be honest. Or is it to go AG slash and just click sneak and then clean with Zarude? That might be the option too. Let me see if Rihanna close kills uh, AG slash. With Shadow Ball. It doesn't. So that, that's huge too. So I think I think I go Blueberry here and I click Aqua Jet. And that puts it in range of, in range of Zarud. Um, if Rhyonicles comes out here, I sack Stunfisk. He'll click Protect because he has no reason not to. Yeah. And then I get to figure out what Reuniclus set this is. If it's Magic Guard, it's probably Trick Room, which makes sense. Um, how much am I doing with Aqua Jet 2? I'm so low on time. All right. This is my last calc. Aqua Jet is doing 36 to 43, which should put it in AG slash range, I hope. Yes. So we just go for Aqua Jet again here. We just go for Jet. He also has the the thought in his mind that it's possible that I could double here and call his Rhyonicles. So it's possible that he's like, his thought process is like playing off the choke is my only play. Like he might just stay in here and, and, and try and call me on a, on a, on a blunder. Um, but now I gotta play fast because I'm in a minute and a half. And if I lose this to time, I'll, I'll scream. Um, there you go, Let's see. Uh, so you're dead. You're not dead. Okay. Um, but I should be able to go Zarud and just click Lariat. Zarud Lariat should win it. That should be fine. This is why this is why preserving Zarud is so important. The one loss condition is if my Zarud creep for some reason does not um, outspeed a drill. But I think I should in every instance. Excadrill. 252. 140. I don't know why he would be max speed, but 152. Uh, if he's literally max speed, he outspeeds me here. Um, I feel like my play is to go into AG and sneak. Because sneak should 2 it KO. Yeah. That, I don't want to choke on that one. Because if he is max, if he's somehow max speed, although he definitely isn't because of that that thing, so maybe that's that's a huge choke. But we'll sneak here. Azumarill should have always killed that, right? Yeah, maybe not. Oh, I was coming, Kasha. 
it's totally possible that was just like a mineral, so who knows. Uh, he does take rocks, so it's not magic guard, it is regen. So I imagine this is AV. So I think my play is just gonna be to, to shadow sneak. And then just revenge with Zerud. Like, this is banned. You should, you should be like uber dead, right? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah. So he'll he'll get the kill here. Um, unless he's like cussed at. He wins if he's cussed at. Um, but I don't think I can play out cussed at because if he um, if he is if he recovers on me covering for cussed at, then I lose. I don't know. Um, if he is cussed at, then we'll play down. But I would be shocked. Lariat. 3-0, baby. Let's fucking do this. Hey, look at that. Look at Zarude. And I thought Zarude was bad this matchup. I've been convinced. I honestly, I unironically used to think that Zarude was like the worst mon like ever. I genuinely thought it was like terrible, but I've seen the light. It's really good. Um, it's good. Let me put it this way. I think a lot of people in the Wi-Fi community totally misuse Zarude. I think they use like Scarf or like, um, like three attacks jungle healing or something when it's really like a very very fat mon that's tough to break in the late game is kind of like the way i see it um and it's a very nice sponge as well it's it's a little bit more defensive than offensive i think people go too offensive with it uh, is my kind of thought i don't know that's how i like it so that's where we are uh but that's a 2-0 win against jack that's awesome because he was undefeated as well this puts us higher in the in the league obviously not too concerned about standings because anyone can beat anyone and like obviously like just like last season it goes to show that like a good start could still slide you into a bad result um but i'm relieved in the sense that i thought this was my hardest matchup i've had so far and it was the most nervous i felt i've actually was more nervous for this game than i was against chuckle king um so i don't know like i just feel pretty good about the win i feel like i played it Pretty much as I should have when push came to shove, when pen came to paper, when I finally had to, you know, slap my ga game on the game and do the game, then it worked. So that's where we're at. Cool. Uh, next week we take on Jay, which is amazing because we played Jay twice on Wi Fi. Um, and it's always a great one. So it's always very close. Um, and I'm excited for that um, because it's a good freaking matchup and it's a prep city off which is always fun okay see you all next week bye